The second test that we do for phenol uh, identification is azo formation. For that, you require one to two ml of aniline. As you can see on your screen, I'm adding aniline to the test tube, one to two ml. That's all we are going to take. After taking aniline, we are going to take hydrochloric acid. One ml of hydrochloric acid is required. Now, as you can see, I'm pouring hydrochloric acid into the test tube. After the addition of hydrochloric acid, I'm going to add approximately 4 ml of water. Now, we have to be very conscious of the ratios with which we are taking and shake. Shake well, as you can see uh, on the screen. This is the proper way of shaking the test tube so that all the components are mixed together properly. After keeping it in ice for a time being, you have to check whether the test tube is cold enough to pursue with the experiment. And when you have checked that, add sodium carbonate solution to the test tube. As you can see, I am doing a sodium bicarbonate. I am adding it to the test tube. Mm, yes. Now it has to be in ratio with the solution that you already had. And then I'm going to put it uh, to a side and I'm going to use another test tube in which I'm going to add the phenol which is my uh, functional group that I need to detect. Now after taking phenol, I'm going to add my solution that I've already made. Now I have to be very conscious with the ratio uh, that I'm going to pour in this test tube. I'm just going to add the remainder solution into the test tube of the phenol now like you can see i did not add phenol in the previous solution i added previous solution to phenol and now i'm adding sodium hydroxide to it so that i could get the layer that is required that will give me uh, the identification that uh, yes i am dealing with phenol over here now see the layer that is being formed at the very end